All right, what's up, guys? It's Jesse with Active ATX. I uh, just want to fill you in on day number five of this of my green smoothie challenge. Um, I would not say it's going great. Um, I don't think this is uh, something that's going to lead to increased performance. I think from a longevity point of view and maybe health point of view, uh, this is a great thing to do. Uh, at least putting it in one or two times a day to get all those veggies and fruits in your diet. But just living off this type of stuff uh, is very hard for somebody with uh, the things I do on a daily, uh, day to day basis. And, uh, you know, there's also other things to go into it, you know, like my physical and mental tolerance of, of hunger. Uh, I am constantly thinking about food. I am. Uh, you know, even the most disgusting things look uh, delicious now. I mean, cheeseburgers that I normally wouldn't eat at McDonald's. You know, uh, McRib actually sounded good. John talked a little bit about that. Um, you know, chip, I mean, anything. So, you know, I'm still doing it. I've had to put protein powder and some nuts and seeds, and I've actually started eating some whole veggies and stuff. Uh, like last night I ate two whole cucumbers just because I was... The texture of, of drinking the, the liquid is just really kind of almost nauseating me a little bit. So um, this kind of reminds me of something to be like a fat or crash diet. Um, you know, if you're just juicing or just uh, doing the green smoothies, you know, and I've really b bent this thing around my needs and I still haven't been able to tinker it to make it work. You know, I've added raw eggs, I've added protein powder, um, you know, doing some supplements after my workout, and I mean eating whole fruits and veggies, you know, which really isn't too dis dissimilar to tossing it in a blender, but, you know, anyway, it's still just very challenging. I am just, uh, you know, I was woken up this morning by my roommate was uh, cooking bacon at about 4.30 in the morning, and uh, it woke me up, you know, from being dead asleep. So, um, I'm looking forward to getting off this. Uh, you know, it, it, today I did a uh, five short three-minute workouts, um, you know, with about two minutes rest in between, uh, a lot of variety, all functional movements, and about 90% effort, and um, I felt like I was, I was challenged. Uh, the, the, the lactic acid started coming on a little sooner. Um, you know, I just got off of a four or five-day break, and I should be fresh, ready to hit some personal gains, some personal bests, and um, I didn't feel like I was able, I, I felt like I'd been training for you know, a hard week or something. My legs were gassed. I'm a little shaky right now. I was very beat down after the workout. Um, and I, I think a lot of this just is, is a lot of the mental and subconscious thing that goes into it as well. I mean, I just, every day I'm just, it's all I think about is food and what I don't have and I feel limited. And that's a huge, those psychological issues are huge. Um, and, they, and they play into how you're going to perform, how you're going to, um, you know, be feeling the rest of the day. So, um, you know, I understand that everybody's an individual and, you know, this is my individual experience with this and, um, you know, I think it'll be a, a valuable experience. You know, I love trying new things and uh, giving it a run for its money and trying to tinker to make it work and, and understanding somebody else's point of view. But, uh, you know, I think see the pros to, to health and longevity, like I said, but uh, performance, not so much. I think a better implementation is uh, tossing one or two of these, um, you know, in your diet every day, you know, and I'm start, starting to lean over to the juice inside a little bit more just because it's a lot more nutrient dense, you know, um, there's a lot of medicinal properties and foods and herbs and, and, uh, spices, um, you know, that you can get that, uh, are very beneficial for health and, uh, you know, living longer. So anyway, that's kind of my spiel for today. I got one more day and I'm headed to Big Ben tomorrow and I am going to, juice for as long in that car ride as I can before I finally crack and hopefully it won't be a McDonald's or something but uh, who knows I'll probably film my uh, my first meal and uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. Alright keep Austin active and I'll catch in with you guys tomorrow.